Hi, this is Paul Feed. We're down here at Race Tech. This is the first in a series of instructional videos called The Technical Edge, where what we're going to do is show you everything you need to know on how to do suspension. And in this particular video, everything about forks and how to install gold valves. Okay, where are we going to start? First thing is safety. I can't emphasize enough how important safety glasses are. I mean, after all, if you put out an eye here, or you, you know, you ruin your vision, then what's all this stuff worth, okay? So, safety glasses. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about two particular forks today. One is Showa and one's Kayaba. And we'll be dealing with upside down fork design. First thing, of course, is to get a beautiful setup bench and a, a few of the proper tools. Now this does not take a lot of tools to be able to do these forks. What we're gonna start with, this particular fork is a, is a uh, Showa off of a 1993 um, CR250 Honda. Now, to begin, uh, I like to have aluminum jaws on the vise. This keeps things from being marred up uh, and getting ruined. Um, that's fairly easy to find a vise that has removable jaws and then just have a machinist make up some, some aluminum jaws. Okay. Now, a few tricks. Now, what we're going to do is as we go, I'll show you tricks as we go. So these will kind of be little freebies on the tape here. Um, this takes a, a 30 millimeter wrench, um, and you know obviously we've taken these forks apart before, so it's fairly easy to undo. But when you get uh, stuck on some of these forks, and if they're really hard to break loose, simply take a socket, and take a hammer, and give it a whack, and maybe a couple of hard whacks too. And what that'll do is it'll jar the threads loose and allow us to almost be able to take this off uh, by hand. Now, we've actually got a, a tool made up here, and it's real simple, where this slips over here and that goes on there, and you give it a whack. But, you know, again, you don't really need this stuff. Um, if you don't do a lot of these, you can just use a socket if you want to beat on your socket. So anyway, first thing, let's get these forks apart. Take the cap off. Then, slip the outer tube down. Now this is just a regular old 17 millimeter wrench, which we've ground down to be a little bit thinner so it slips in between the, so the fork springs on some of the models. On this particular one, we actually can pull the, the spring down and it'll sit right there. So then what we'll do here is break that puppy loose. Spin the cap off. Whoa! This is the rebound adjustment rod, which I'll explain about that later. Now what we do, I like to just rotate these as I take them out. Keeps oil from going all over the place. And then we dump out the oil. Okay, now as you, uh, as you pour out the oil, very carefully watch the oil for any kind of foreign objects. Oh, holy mackerel! Now, uh, uh, if stuff like this comes out, you know you've got serious problems. This is the guts for the, uh, the rebound adjuster. You just take out most of the oil here. Don't worry about getting it all out. We'll clamp this in the vise. I, by far, I prefer to clamp on the axle adjuster whenever possible as opposed to the brake, uh, the brake holding lugs there. Now, we have a fancy barrel here, too. Now, again, when we're going to take off the, uh, the adjusting bolt on the bottom, which undoes the damping rod, a lot of times these are loctited in from the factory or they're very tight. All we do is you take a socket, again, the proper size socket, and give it a couple of hard whacks, okay? Breaks loose the threads. I, if you've, got, if you've got forks that are really a bear to take apart, a couple of real hard wax on the bottom bolt it can, does amazing things. And we just take our half inch air impact. Blast that puppy apart. Out comes the cartridge. Now, if the bolt doesn't come out, the bottom of the cartridge, that means that the cartridge is spinning. 
and you'll have to use a cartridge holding tool. Okay, in order to use the tool, you have to take this plastic piece off, which means that the nut comes off. Okay, slide that off. Now, this is a holding tool. These are available, okay? And that would slip over the cartridge. Jiggle it in here. There we go. And that's it. Cartridge comes out. You pull out the compression adjuster. This is where the goal valve goes. So, now next thing here, we'll just get these out of the way. Next thing here, we want to pop the seals out. Now, understand if all you're going to do is, is get into the uh, into the adjuster or get into the cartridge, you don't have to completely uh, take the seals out and, and uh, grease the seals up. But if you're replacing a seal or you want to do complete disassembly, we do complete disassembly almost all the time because we want to check everything out. There's some bushings in here. We'll get into here in a minute. Now, on this particular set of forks, this wiper comes off real easy. We just stick a screwdriver in here and just pry it apart. Now, this one is, like I say, is real easy. As you can see, I can put it in and out with my thumb. What we've done is we've got a, a chisel that we've taken one side off of it so that this is actually very handy in working on suspension. You can actually take this thing and actually chisel it out like that too. This one got the wiper out of the way. Now, next thing is to get into the seal area and to get the seal out, we've got to take the clip out first. Now, Snap-on's got this fancy little pick that we can use on these. And, and you can just use a screwdriver tool, too. You don't really have to get one of these fancy little tools. And this one's real easy. We just pull that out. That's it. Now, the cartridge is out. The bolt's been taken out. Uh, and we're ready to slide hammer these thing, those things apart, OK? Uh, what's holding this together right now is the seal, OK? Now, take a rag, just so that we don't go shooting oil across the room. We'll take this thing. This one came apart really easy. You might have to hit it a couple of times for it to come apart. This is the upper bushing. It is Teflon coated. You have to be real careful with it. Find the split, stick a screwdriver in it, turn the screwdriver sideways, and simply pull it off. Okay. Next is the lower bushing. This is Teflon coated on the inside washer. Now, on the seal, the edge of this land for the bushing is very, very sharp. So when you pull this off, be very careful. Actually take the seal and push it like that, and push it the other way, and actually get it around that lip. Now, I would recommend replacing seals any time you actually take them off of the tube, just for safety's sake. Okay, then the wiper comes off. Okay, next we'll get into cleaning and inspection.